Hey guys, you're Sterling Kevin Grace reporting to you from Evergreen Cemetery in Los Angeles. Wanted to pay my respects for a long time to this actress. Again, she performed in the 30s when it was very hard to get uh, acting roles for a black person and anything of consequence. And um, 1934, she was in the movie Imitation of Life. That was about a pancake maker whose daughter, who was very light skinned, wound up abandoning her to fit into white society. That was one of the roles she did, but she also, she was also in a Jackie Robinson story and she had a, about um, 160 uh, television movie appearances. She also took over for the great Hattie McDaniels when she passed away and played her uh, as Beulah. Now she wasn't naturally heavy, but she had to eat a lot um, to keep that, the look, the style, and that did mess with her, um, her health because she died at age 60 in 1962 it was very hard to actually find her grave she's buried with her mother her mother um the head it's all the way in the back here uh in the corner of right near cesar chavez uh avenue and this is evergreen so it's in the back uh not far away is also um a good actor eddie Anderson who played Rochester on the um, Jack Benny show so he's in the area but anyway um, Louise Beavers is buried with her mother right here very hard to find and uh, but I definitely wanted to pay my respects to her she did die of a heart attack at age 60 like I said because of uh, having to put that extra weight on but uh, she is buried here and this is uh, uh, someone you definitely needed to to know this is her right here Louise Beavers and she was inducted to the Black Filmmakers Hall of Fame in 1976 If you like this video Please click subscribe down below and feel free to leave any comments The life and sad ending of Louise Beavers Louise Beavers was born on March 8, 1902, in Cincinnati, Ohio, and moved with her family to the Los Angeles area at age 11. A student at Pasadena High School and a choir member at her local church, her mother, a voice teacher, trained Louise for the concert stage, but instead the young girl joined an all-female ministral company called Lady Minstrels, and even hooked up for a time on the Vanderville circuit. Her first break of sorts was earning a living as a personal maid and assistant to Paramount star Latrice Joy. By 1924, she was performing as an extra or walk-on in between her chores. A talent agent spotted her and gave her a more noticeable role in Uncle Tom's Cabin, 1927. She went on to gain even more visibility, but was invariably stuck in the background cooking or cleaning after the leads. Despite this, her beaming smile and good nature paid off. Following scene-grabbing maid roles to such stars as Mary Pickford in Coquette, 1929, Mae West in She Done Him Wrong, 1933, and Jean Harlow in Bombshell, 1933, Louise received the role of her career. Her pugnant storyline and final death scene deserved an Oscar nomination and many insiders took her snub as a deliberate and prejudicial. Five years later, her close friend, Haiti McDaniel, would become the first black actor to not only earn an Oscar nomination, but capture the coveted trophy as well for her subordinate role in Gone with the Wind, 1939. Despite their individual triumphs, both ladies continued in stereotyped roles. Occasionally, Louise was rewarded with such Hollywood A treats as Made for Each Other, 1939, with Carol Lombard, 
Holiday Inn, 1942, starring Bing Crosby, and especially Mr. Bladding's Builds His Dream House, 1948, with Cary Grant and Myrna Loy. In the Jackie Robinson story, 1950, she offered lovely moments as the baseball star's mother. Although film offers dried up in the 1950s, Louise managed to transfer her talents to the new TV medium and was one of a number of character actresses hired to play the wise-cracking, problem-solving maid Beulah 1950 during its run. Beulah was one of the first sitcoms to star a black actor. She also had a recurring role in Disney's The Swamp Fox. In 1957, she made her professional stage debut in San Francisco with the short, lived play Praise House as a caregiver who extols the Bible through song. Her last few films, which included The Goddess, 1958, and the Bob Hope comedy The Facts of Life, 1960, were typical stereotypes and unmemorable. A longtime bachelor lady who finally married in the 1950s, the short, heavyset actress was plagued by health issues in later years, her obesity and diabetes in particular. Sadly, on October 26, 1962, Louise Beavers lost her fight at age 60 following a heart attack. Goodbye, Louise Beavers. up, Delilah. Everything will turn out all right. We'll find her again. Yes, sir. Miss B. There she is. She's back. He has come home. She's back home, my baby. Baby. My little lamb. Oh. You're back. Yes, Mother. And I want to tell you how sorry I am for what I did to you. Oh, that's all right. Come. Come, baby, and sit down. You don't feel like you're really here standing so far off. Mother, I've done everything you wanted me to. I went to that school and tried to be happy there to please you. But I just couldn't bear it. I couldn't. I had to get away. I understand, baby. We're going to forget all about it now. It's all right. But it isn't all right, Mother. I want to talk to you. I'll go upstairs, Delilah. No, Miss B. You stay, please. I want you to hear, too. What's my little baby got on her mind? I want to go away. Go away? Go away, Viola. I mean, by that I mean I want to go away. And you mustn't see me or own me or claim me or anything. I mean, even if you pass me on the street, you'll have to pass me by. Oh, no, Viola. Oh, I know it's terrible of me, Miss B. But you don't know what it is to look white and be black. You don't know. I can't go on this way any longer. I can't give up my baby. I bore you. I nursed you. I love you. I love you more than you can guess. You can't ask your mammy to do this. You've got to promise me, mother. I'm your mammy, child. I ain't no white mother. It's too much to ask of me. I ain't got the spiritual strength to beat it. I can't hang on no cross. I ain't got the strength. You can't ask me to 
and born my own child. I'm sorry, Mother. I know it's asking a lot. But I've got to live my own life. Bye. How can you hurt your mother so? How can you make her suffer this way? I'm sorry, Miss B. But I can't help it. <laughs> Don't cry, darling, Alice. Don't cry. She'll come back to you. Give her a little time. A few hard knocks and she'll come running back to her mother. That's what mothers are for. She'll remember that you're here to turn to. No, Miss B. I lost my baby. She won't ever come back. Oh, of course she will. I'm going to get Julie to fix you a cup of tea. And I'll be down again in a few minutes. Thank you, Miss B. I'll be all right. 